So today we're going to be doing an unboxing video of the RC28 128 scale RC buggy. It's the Jam and J edition um, from Team Associated. And then in the background we've just got a uh, another toy that we'll be reviewing or another RC car that we'll be reviewing next week. It's a drift car, but it's not that good. So let's get into it. So I mean, you know, pretty nice uh, controller that we've got. It's just on and off. The only trimming it's got is steering trim. Um, it's fairly hard to get into the bottom. Um, I don't know if you guys can see, but Oh, yep. So I can't even get it open like that. So I'm just gonna use. I just use a screwdriver. Oh, yeah, flathead. So as you can see in here, there's not two, but actually four uh, batteries in there. It's kind of hard to see. And then if you pull this little cable out, this is actually the charging cable. So put that back in, and you can plug this little piece into the side of the car, and then it charges. So, now to the unboxing. So, obviously I've played with it because, uh, why would you have a car or a toy and not play with it? So, I mean, I'll just take it out of the box. It's a fairly cool box. So, um, I've played with it, and it was a cool design. It, or it was cool, so let's see if you can see in the, so in the picture, you can see it's got right here this little Novak wing, which... I have it, just not with me right now. It's not on the cart. It should be right here, but there's nothing there because uh, it's playing around with it with a dog, and dogs don't like it. The dog also took a little chunk out of the side uh, right here. Yeah, it's my neighbor's dog. It's kind of crazy, but um, other than that, it doesn't have any body clips, which I kind of like because I can't lose any. But as mm, let me get a better angle. As you can see right here. And then right here, it looks like some little alien antennas, but actually, that's those, that's the uh, body clips, so let me, so you gotta kind of push the body out oh, to get one out, and then just push it, sorry you couldn't see it, but it was kind of hard, and then, if you can see right there, that's actually Velcro, so it's got a piece of Velcro holding the front on right here. So it's a pretty, it's a fairly, uh, um, I don't know, limited design, I guess. So, I mean, it's a little dirty because I've used it. Because, I mean, why wouldn't you? Pretty nice little toy. So, uh, the tires, let me see. So, see, there's not too much squish, meaning it's good because, uh, it's good and bad because, um, it means there's some stuff in there. As you can see, there's little ridges or edges, I guess, on it. Because they're kind of like off-road tires because it's a little buggy. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. But that also means that there's like not a lot of rubber. And on the front, it's just got these uh, three spokes. Some little tridents, I guess. They're fairly nice. So, as you can see right now, it's off. And to charge it, the controller and the uh, car have to be off. So see here, right here is the little hole. You get the, uh, I guess, plug-in, and you put it in the side. As you can see, there's nothing on right here. But then, as I plug it in, see, it's plugged in. And now that green light is on, saying it's charging. But then if I take it out, green light is off meaning no charge so I'm just gonna put the body on real quick and then I'm gonna drive it a little round drive it around a little show you guys how it works I'm just gonna have my assistant Avery hold the body or hold the camera so I can do this <coughs> so that you guys can get a good view so see to get it back on oh I forgot to say one thing or actually a couple things never mind I'm not gonna put the body on just quite yet so it's got this little uh, hole right here, which I don't quite know what that's for. It's kind of joking around with my friend, telling him uh, we could tie a rope to, to it and do a little tug of war. And also right here is the uh, little antenna. Oh, I just can't see that. Oh, there it is. This 
thing right here that's poking up that I'm playing with right now. So that's how the uh, car and the uh, steering connect. Then the engine is right here. Don't know what kind of engine it is. It's got some shocks too. I mean, they're obviously pretty small because the car is pretty small. And they don't quite work. I mean, they obviously work, but they're... <coughs> they're small. My gosh, I'm so sorry. I just got the coughs today. <coughs> so, yeah. So now I'm going to have my sister Avery hold this so that I can put the body back on and show you guys. So, <coughs> basically how you got it off, you uh, get the hole that's on the side of the body right here, match it up, put it in, kind of got to put it down, <coughs> hook up the Velcro, and then going to turn, so right here, got the steering, uh, you turn that on, obviously you see that red's blinking, it's looking for the car, there's a little off on right here, now if you heard that little like noise, that's because it's turning on, steering wheel's fairly nice, so look it, so now I'm going to have Avery hold this again, show you guys a little bit of how it does, so I bought it at, uh, here let me see, I bought it at Hobby Haven, which is a store, uh, like an RC store, and it was only like 50 bucks. Um, it was actually on sale, because it was originally 80. Um, only complaint I have about it is no matter what I do, it's really hard to get the steering. Um, yeah, like, so it goes straight. And so now we're going to have her hold this, and I'm going to show you. So, the, it doesn't say how, how fast it can go on the box, it just says, uh, you know, like, what kind of car Where'd it, it go? is. Oh. <laughs> the guy at the store said that if it was fully, uh, charged, that it would go about 8 to 10 miles an hour. <laughs> owl. 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 Jeez, can't talk today either. But, I mean, I don't know if that's quite right. I mean, yeah. See, just did it. Perfect for the video. So that's my one complaint, or actually I guess I have two complaints to steering. And it's really easy to uh, flip it. So there's actually another car a little, actually a couple more. There's another uh, buggy like this that, <coughs> that has some buggy lights on it. <coughs> and it's like orange and white. And then there's a truck which... So, you can see here, this wheel is, I don't know, its width is obviously, it's wider than the front wheels, which my friend Jack that you saw in, I think the first video has, he bought the truck version of it, like the stadium truck version, and all four wheels are the same size. So, I mean, obviously they all flip because they're small and everything, but it doesn't flip as easy because it's more stable. The only bad thing is, is... So it's right here, the grass is very low and <clears throat> not a lot of it. But it's not really an off-road car. Oh, yep, see? It's stuck right now because, like I just said, it's not an off-road car. Oh, still stuck. There we go. But, I mean, the cool thing is, look at it. It's spraying dirt right now. There's little donut tracks. Other than that, I mean, I don't quite want to uh, do too many donuts because I'm kind of afraid of rubbing the trite off. But, like, if... So, you can see there's a crack in the driveway right there. If I hit it hard enough, I bet the uh, truck will flip, or the uh, buggy will flip. So, here, I'll just... Oh, actually, I missed the jump. Huh? Let's try this again. Well, well... Didn't even really make it, and it flipped. So, yeah. Oh, yeah, it's got this little tiny front bumper on the... Yeah, that little lip right there. It's a cool little front bumper. Oh, I just figured out. So the steering, the little wheel right here, you can see that shiny piece. That's actually the uh, part of the rim, I guess. So, yeah, that's... Let me fix this. Oh, I'm going to have to fix that later. So, other than that, I'd give this product about a... 
I'd give it about an 8. Just... I mean, yeah, so here's a full look at it. It came with the number 6. Right there it says Team Associated. Um, it says Reedy on the top. Somewhere on the side, yeah, by the window right there. Oh. Come on, it won't focus. Ah, those darn mosquitoes. So other than that, I'd say it's a pretty cool design. It's got a little Jam and J right there because uh, that's what the model is based on. It says it shows a little uh, oh, on the side. It shows the whole Jam and J thing. You know, the box is pretty cool. And it shows you, shows you like, you know, what you can do with it. Uh, yeah, so basically, and batteries are included. It says, this product is not a toy, 14 plus. But I mean, if it's not a toy, then what is it? Because, I mean, I bought it as a toy to play with it. It says 14 plus, which I am just barely. Uh, but yeah, I, I don't get why there's really an age limit. I feel like they're cool and fun for everybody. So yeah, I'd say... Right about an 8.5, just because my only problem with it is the steering. And uh, my friend Jack also has the same problem. So here's our first unboxing video. And I think that is the end for Underground RC Reviews on the RC28, 128th scale uh, RC buggy, the Jam and J design. Okay, well, have a good day, everybody. Goodbye.